Oh, 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 this is good. Oh, for all my warm. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Amber coming to you with the Frank View, coming to you with another video review. And today we have Miss Joe is back. Yes, and we have Zara's new collection from Joe Malone. And we're going to just get right into it on the details. So if you're interested in hearing about the new collection, just keep watching. Hello, family. Welcome back. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back, family. Hey, and if you are new to this channel, my name is Amber, and on this channel, we review fragrances and body care, and we spill, sip a little tea from here and there. Your sis may go left, but it's okay. Just subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. Comment down below. Would love to get to know you and meet you, and hey, family. Hey, I hope you all are doing well this Christmas season. My heart, I have to go left real quick. And the world has been talking about him, but Twitch, you all, if you all don't know, I teach dance here and there. I'm, I'm a dancer at heart. That's why I be doing all my, and I am a dancer at heart. And honey, when I heard about Twitch, oh my gosh, it just stopped me. I couldn't even, I was at a Christmas party with my work, my job, and I couldn't even really focus on that. But my heart goes out to him his family, his children, guys. And people keep on saying like, oh, check on your strong friends. Honey, just check on your friends and family. Like we just need to do better. I know we get so busy in the hustle and bustle. I am guilty of it myself. We just have to make some conscious decisions going into this new year, starting now to just reach out to our people and just check on them here and there. You know, just slow down. Even if we have to put it on our calendar to be like, check on a friend, you know what I'm saying? Let's just do it. You know, we just have to make some conscious choices and decisions to just pick up the phone, send a text or something. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, we're going into the Christmas season. People get um sad and it just all types of just feelings and thoughts go on in this season and i am praying for you all right i am praying for you all's family your friends you all and yourself you all you all my family you all be well okay again give yourself grace i say it at the end but give yourself grace this season it is okay all right if you need to hit me up on instagram just hit me up hit your sis up if, if you need to talk but just be well this season. I had to go left and just start off by saying that. But if you clicked on this thumbnail, okay, we are excited about Zara and Miss Joe in this new collection called Captivating Memories, okay? And she came with it. Now you know. Yo, sis, I was like, okay, there's five fragrances. Which one are you going to get? Choose which one you're going to get, okay? And this is me talking to myself, because clearly. But I was like, which one are you going to choose, Amber? Just just ch choose three. Y'all, I just got all five. Yeah, we just going to talk about all five. We just going to talk about all five. That's, that's, that's what we're going to do today, okay? So let's get right into it. I'm going to start off with, I got them right beside me, okay? So let's get right into it. I'm going to start with Unexpecting Joy. And I opened it. Well, y'all can't even see. It's white. Y'all not going to see this packaging. <laughs> this box. All the boxes look the same. They just have like Unexpected Joy. They just have these cute little um, color designs. But they're just white. They're white boxes. And then there's this saying in the bag. But my lights just, it is what it is. Okay, that's what the box looks like. Okay. But honey, let's talk about the actual packaging. Look at this. I hope you all can see it. Oh my gosh. How beautiful and sleek. And you'll be able to see your juice. And it's just so cute. Joe, we've been missing you, girl, from Zara. And we glad you're back. 
Um, maybe you was on vacation, or maybe you were just, you know, it, it takes some time to make fragrances. Okay. We are so glad that you came back with this packaging. It is so beautiful. And to me, it looks luxe. I haven't even smelt it yet, y'all. This is first impression. But it looks luxe. And also, this reminds me because it has the uh, round top. If you all have any of the Joe Malone London fragrances, it reminds me of like how the Murantanka looks. I know it's black, but it has that circle at the top. So she incorporated like... Uh, peony and suede or whatever the other fragrances that she has but she incorporate what those bottles look like with what the Zara oh we get a little Zara and Joe Malone can y'all tell I'm happy I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. this is beautiful so let's get into the let's get into the juice let's get into what what we came here to get into. Let me give you all my first impression. Honey, I'm excited. And the weight, ah, she did it right. And I feel like this is like the cute little sister, honey. It's like Joe Malone Lon London's packaging is like the uh, bigger sister, the more mature sister. Not to say this is not mature, but just saying like this just gives me fun, okay? What I'm about. I like a little fun, okay? Let's get into it. Okay, I love the spray. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 So this is unexpected joy. Let me give you some of the notes. So we have bergamot, neroli, magolia, and cedar. Yes. Like if you like a floral, right off the bat, it was like floral I, I felt happy I feel pretty oh so pretty I feel pretty and witty and bright. I mean it definitely gives that floral flair uh-huh and the bergamot oh my goodness I really love this now for this season you know for the winter season I can't really see me pulling this out a lot but when uh, spring, summer hits, oh, this is a good one. To me, though, and I'm going to put it on skin because we know it might <laughs> it might be different on skin. But to me, I feel like you have to like a floral. No, like the Magolia in there, you have to ha like a, a white floral note in your fragrances. Definitely. If you don't mind that, you, you will probably love this. Oh, and it's so pretty. You all know what this reminds me of. If you uh, remember Bath & Body Works came out, it's called Magolia Charm. If you all love that fragrance when it came out, Bath & Body Works, you would love this. This this gives me that vibe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It kind of blends Magolia, Bergamot, a little, a little tint of citrus I smell, almost like an orange type of vibe oh she's pretty ah <laughs> come on miss joe she's pretty if you like a good old spring summer this is going to be a great pick okay so again this is unexpected joy moving on next up we have energy vibe okay again same packaging just on the side it has a little bit of a kind of a peachy, a peachy orange type of color on the side. So we're going to unbox and see if it do what it do. Because Unexpected Joy was cool. And I'm going to give you all a ranking at the end of my thoughts, okay? So we'll, we'll do a ranking. So if you're interested. All right. So again, this is energy vibe packaging uh so cute and it just has like the peachy orangey type of vibe oh she's so cute i'm sorry joe malone you did this i mean this is cute this is cute okay let's see okay oh, these are pretty Okay, so let me give you the notes. It has bergamot, mint, jasmine, lavender, 
Musk, myrrh, and cedar. Cedar. Yes. Okay. So this, although like, although the word, I, I get the energy vibe. However, this gives me like spa vibes, and maybe because of the lavender and the myrrh, and maybe the mint and jasmine. It definitely gives me more spa vibes. So very much aromatic. So if you like those type of scents, that's where it leads, leans in for me. Yeah, this is basically, this is definitely an out of shower type of girl. You just wanted a relaxing, like maybe a relaxing Sunday, a breezy day. You're just like, oh, I just need a, a self-care day. Just all about me. Go ahead and do that for yourself. Okay. Um, you just needed a me day. This would be that type of fragrance for you. But this is pretty. I don't mind this. Like, this is not going to be an everyday. Okay. This is definitely not going to be your everyday. But spa vibes. I would even do this at the gym. Like, my gym Babes. One, two, three, four. I get the hose. Gotta wipe it out. One, two, three, four. Ride the hose. Woo! You know, my gym men. Uh, 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 Euro uh, training. Uh, Euro uh, training. Uh, 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 one. What? You know, if you like, uh, and I would say this leans more on the feminine side. I would say both of them, the unexpected joy, I would say I would lean on the feminine side. So if you're a male and you don't mind a feminine fragrance and you don't mind like a gem scent that's just, you know, more on the lavender side, more on the jasmine side, this would be a good one for you too. Oh yes, this is definitely spa on skin. We're gonna do on paper and on skin, but this is definitely, oh yes. Oh, yes, this is good. Honey, I'm excited because I'm thinking like, if I get all five, it's during Christmas season. You know, if I don't like them, <laughs> somebody going to get a nice little gift. Because <laughs> it might not be for me, but it might be for someone else. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> oh, wow, yes. So this is a really good one. Energy vibes. I highly suggest moving on. Next up, we have Vibrancy Adventures. Okay, and this has the yellow packaging on the side. All right, let's see what this do. I'll read you the notes. This one I was really excited about because when I read the notes, I was like, mm hmm, I'm gonna like her. Um, I hope. <laughs> So this has lychee, apple, lemon, and cedar. And i tell you why, because I guess the apple and the lychee, I was like, wow, I love lychee, the fruit lychee, I love, I love that fruit. Um, apple, like this season, I love a good apple. I'm like getting into my apple vibes. The lemon, I think, was the one that I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to lift it. But same packaging. It just has like the yellow kind of little extra wrap at the top. I don't know what we're calling this, okay? But so fun and cute. Y'all, I love this. I really do love this family. This is a really good one. Okay, let's, well, you know, your sis can talk. So let's go, let's go. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Not my favorite right now. Wonderful. Like on paper. And on paper. Nah, not my favorite. I think the lemon is, is hitting too lemony. I like this is giving me like <laughs> lemon pine cleaner. <laughs> Is there a lemon pine cleaner? Mr. Clean? Mr. Clean's tough on dirt. Easy on you. I don't know. 
Fine saw. Yeah, this is too lemony for me. Ugh. Okay, let me put on skin. Let me test it on skin. Okay. Oh no. No, Joe. Yeah. You have to like lemon. I mean, uh, I'm even trying to get like, does it have like a lemony pie type of, no. No, it's like pulling real lemon cleaner for me. It's real scrum, scrub a dilly -unches. Like, well not scrub dilly -unches, but real scrub lemon type of scent. Oh no, I don't like that. Now nah, I don't like her. Hated it. Oh, jeez, I thought I was gonna like her, but no, nah, I don't like her. Okay, so this is not my vibe. If you, again, you have to like, like, do they have lemon now and later? They don't have lemon now and later. What's a lemon candy? Like a lemon drop? Put in the comment, give me some lemon candy. Like a lemon drop, maybe? It's very lemon forward heavy. Like that's exactly what I smell. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, I don't like it. All right, can't suggest it. All right, moving on. Next up, we have Warm Freedom. So I already put this out of the box because I was doing my thumbnail, but <laughs> this is the packaging, okay? Haven't smelt it, but Warm Freedom, okay? And this has almost like a peachy nude type of top. It's a little more nude than the, um, the energy vibe, okay? Anyway, we ain't come for no colors. Sister, how, how do it smell, sis? Okay, I'm going, I'm going. So, Warm Freedom, I was really excited about too. So, this has cotton, Magolia, okay. Coffee. Ooh, musk. Sandalwood cashmere. Oh, I smell her from here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Now, this is... This fall winter. This is fall winter. Honey, but you have to like a coffee note. Now, if you don't like a coffee note, you're not gonna like this. You're not gonna like this, but this is really good. This almost gives me like a uh, Delox, Tenziana, Terenzi. This almost gives me like Bath and Body Works, that new Amber Glow. I'm probably saying it wrong, but the new scent that they have that has like that coffee smell. Oh, yes. This gives me velvet coffee, uh, the Tree Hut scrub, the new scrub that came out. Definitely would be a good pairing with this. Oh, oh, this is good. Oh, for all my warm. <laughs> Cashmere, sis, bruh, cousins, aunties, those that love like warm and sexy vibes. You you love a little hint of coffee, honey. Oh, you're gonna love this. This is definitely a purchase. Pick this up before this gets sold out and people start talking about it. This is good. If you're looking for a coffee scent, something to wear during the season, love. Oh, yes. Winner, honey. This is the Warm Freedom fragrance. Oh yeah, moving on. And last, but certainly not least, Reflecting Celebrations, and it's in my favorite color, purple. Okay, let's see what this is talking about. So we have grapefruit, orange peel, and Palo Santo in this, okay? And Palo Santo, right, if you all know, um, Kay Ali's, um, the new Love Fest Burning Cherry fragrance that also has Palo Santo in that. So I do love that fragrance from Kay Ali, and I was like, hmm, okay, another, maybe it's a woodsy type of smell, but maybe it gives me a little citrus wood, I don't know. But y'all know this this purple packaging. I love a good purple. Uh, my favorite color, honey. Okay. 
Ooh, let's see. Okay. I don't smell it from there, but. Oh. 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 Whoop de doo. What does it all mean, Basil? Does that have oud in it? Because of the Palo Santo. Oh. Ooh, okay. Let me try this on skin. This actually gives me, at first sniff, this gives me more of a unisex fragrance. So my men, you would, this, this is you. You would love this. Let me see. It doesn't, I'm not smelling the grapefruit or the citrus, but put it on skin so I can see. Because it gives me oud. I don't know. It just gave me like a oud type of fragrance. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that Palo Santo. So if you like a woody, maybe a burn type of fragrance, it almost gives me like there's a oud in this. Yeah, this would to me lean more masculine or even unisex. This would give me definitely unisex because I could see a woman maybe wearing this if she likes a more woody fragrance. I don't get any great grapefruit. I don't get the grapefruit. And I don't even get the orange peel. I don't get like a citrus. Mm -mm. I don't get the citrus. It almost gives me like, you all know um, Tom Ford um, Black Orchid. I hope I'm saying that right. But there is a Tom Ford Black Orchid. It gives me that vibe. So if you like, and I'm not saying this is not good, but this is for a particular nose, um, a particular style. Like this is not an everyday. I could see this in like a, uh, a maybe, not even formal, but maybe, maybe something that you're dressing up for, like a concert. I would not spray heavy on this, but it does not give me like easy reach, grab and go, everyday vibe. It's okay. It also might be good for layering. Like I could see me layering it with K. Ali's uh, Love Fest Burning Cherry. I could see that layering um, combo. I could see me layering this with stuff, but on its own, it's not my favorite, nah. But for men, I could see a, a man wearing this and possibly getting compliments. Like, this is not a, this is definitely not a safe blind buy. Nah. <laughs> if you, <laughs> if you, but you, if you like Palo Santo fragrances, woody fragrances, you would probably love this. And yeah, you might go ahead and blind buy this. But if my description, <laughs> Does not make it seem dreamy. Um, don't you blind buy this. These are all 100 ml. I didn't see anything <laughs> in size less than this. I didn't see a tester yet. It might take a while for testers to come out, but definitely more unisex. Definitely leans there, okay? So that is the collection. Let me do some rankings. Now, you already know what's about to be first because my uh, face did it all. But that warm freedom, y'all need to get this, okay? Actually, you know what? <laughs> uh, y'all need to get this, okay? This <laughs> is good. Like, why did y'all do that? Extra? You know me, okay? Um, This is good, Beautiful, a beautiful coffee cashmere fragrance. This is top notch, okay? I mean, get this, okay? Top on my list, top ranking, number one, okay? Number two, I would have to say Unexpected Joy would be my number two. I really enjoyed this. This, this definitely gave me that joy, however, 
However, this did give me more spring summer vibe. So I'm not gonna wear it now. This would be like my now. And then this unexpected joy, I would hold off for um, the spring season, right? But this is gonna be really good. Very, very, very pleasant. I would highly recommend this. Um, I love it, okay? Moving on. Next up, uh, number three, I would say, I'm going to say energy vibe because it does give me that spa-like, um, out of the shower, relaxing day. It was very pleasant. Um, I did not mind this. So I would say this would be my number three, okay, for rankings. Um, number four, I mean, I would give it up to reflecting celebration. I would say this is not my vibe. It's not something I would have purchased if I knew what it smelled like. Um, but for people that like a woodsy, unisex, Palo Santo type of fragrance, I, again, did not get the grapefruit and the orange peel. I did not smell none of that in here. I didn't smell none of that. But it, again, if you like a Tom Ford Black Orchid, I would say you would probably jam with this. This is it, it's not your sis, okay? But there is someone out there that on my ranking of four, they might put it as their uh, two. And there might be some that put this as five. <laughs> but in my ranking, she four. Okay, <laughs> moving on. And last, and certainly least, honey, vibrancies, uh, adventures, ain't, ain't no adventures in this. Ain't, ain't, ain't no type of adventures. Like, what, what, where are you going? <laughs> um, I need you to uh, take it back. Take it back. Okay. Um, but if you like a lemon forward fragrance, if you like your lemon, then you're going to love this. This, is, this might be your number one and you like lemon. But I don't like a lemon pine saw cleaner type of fragrance. That's just not your sis. That's not what I vibe with. So this is going to be fifth on my list. Okay. No shade, no tea. If this is your first one, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Again, we all grown around here. <laughs> you can wear whatever you want. Okay. You don't even have to ignore this. You can ignore this whole list if you want. But um, if you listen to your sis, your family member, I didn't, this is fine. Mm -mm, don't get this. All right. <laughs> that's all. Well, that's all, family. That is all for my thoughts, my first impression, and my rankings on this new collection. Captivating memories. Definitely done captivated some of my memories on. Some, some better than others. But I would highly suggest... Um, some of these babies, I mean, again, the packaging is awesome. Miss Joe, we missed you. The Zara World missed you. Thank you for coming back to us. And we thank you for allowing us to have these beauties. Okay. Well, until next time, family, you all be good to yourself, okay? Give yourself some grace. And if no one has told you that you are more than enough, <laughs> your sis just did. All right, family, I love you. Bye, family.